So here's my solution to the center console. And this thing has me pretty excited. So here's the factory console with the front section cut out and the middle removed. So in case any of you are interested in doing the NV4500 swap, I will have the center console part available uh, to buy. And it's all stainless steel, so it looks cool, it's never going to rust. I have a little spot for a light down there, and that's it. Okay, so another one of my issues, not really related to the tranny swap, actually it's not related at all, but one of my issues with my new setup was the power steering, because I wanted to run the PSC pump reservoir, and I have a, the RAM, the Hydro Assist RAM down there too, that's not in yet, but I didn't know how to mount this monstrosity. So what I ended up doing was, since I'm not running AC, you got this little bracket cut out here. It fits on the AC pump, runs back here. I have this little bend here to make it more rigid. And then I have bolts that go down through. And it is solid. It doesn't move at all. It does stick up to the hood, which eh, I don't really care about. I think it's kind of funny. Um, I don't know any better way to do this though, because you're supposed to have the the reservoir on top of the pump and it's not really supposed to be behind the pump either i suppose you could maybe put it back here but i think it'd be really tight and it's probably still gonna stick to the hood so it shows right on top of the pump it should never be starved and uh, i think that's a good thing here you can see this is just uh, bleeding the whole power steering system got bubbles coming out of the reservoir it's kind of a long process but it's not hard to do all right, so now I move into the exhaust, and you could get away with having an exhaust shop do this for you, just your know, basic bare bones stuff, which would be cheap and it would work. Um, but I've been wanting to practice with my stainless, so this is a really good practice for me, and I really love how it came out. So you can just see all my different parts here. Here's part of the Y pipe I cut out. Um, I'm definitely still learning, so I'm not super happy with my welds, but every now and then I get a good stretch, so that's the process of learning to weld. <laughs> Here's my old U-joint strap um, or U-bolt, and it broke, so not good. I was finally able to find one that actually fits this yoke. I don't know why it's so difficult to find, but for this particular 10.5 yoke, it was hard. Here's back to some exhaust stuff. I got my 45 degree angle here out of pie cuts I made. Um, here's the the tailpipe and the end I cut onto it. All right, I'm gonna do my best to show you the whole system here. It's just kind of hard without like a lift because I'm just so close to this thing. So here we got my uh, block hugger headers, and here's um, this flange I made. Well, I didn't make the flange; I, I bought it, but. This is the side. I got my pie cuts here. It's about a 45 degree angle. Comes over right in front of the oil pan and it's really close. I probably should space that a little further, but it's not touching, so keep an eye on it. I could always wiggle around if I have to. Now I got my 90 degree. Come back. Freaking oil just dropped on me. That's great. All brand new seals, and I have oil dripping out here. I got oil dripping out, I guess, the rear main, which is kind of frustrating, but it's I'm not taking it out now for that. Anyway, <laughs> um, okay, so here's more of my Y pipe coming down from this side. And you probably noticed I didn't do the header on this side, I have the stock manifold. That's because I didn't want to mess with the EGR system. I didn't want to delete it and I didn't want to, I didn't feel like spending all the time to modify the new header to accept the EGR tube. So I just left it for now because it works and I'm not going for show here, I'm going for functionality. So, okay. 
Here's my joint. Came out pretty good. A little tricky there for me at least. My second one doing that, I guess. Got my cat. Got this, uh, I think on eBay or something. It's supposedly legal, so I'm trying to keep this thing as legal as possible now, this time. I got um, my hanger I made here. So I made this side that just bolts onto or in between the cross member, the trans, so that's removable pretty easily. We got this hanger I made. Okay, I'll bring it back some more. So here we go. Here's the uh, vibrant resonator, which I love. I just, I don't know, I love them. It's my third one I bought for a third different vehicle. Let me just show you a little of the welding here. Again, not perfect by any means, but still do. So yeah, we got a little straight shot here. And then I have a, I think it was like a 14 degree angle. I forget now that I did to kind of come roughly parallel with this upper arm and it's above the drive shaft again i'm sorry it's kind of hard to show everything here because it's just i don't have any room okay now we got where it crosses over above the axle this comes right over top of the um this upper long arm and then it shoots over i got 290s shoots over and out it's about 45 degree here with uh, high cuts. Yeah, it's on the exhaust or the, it's almost on the shock. But I'm relocating a lot of stuff back here. So I'm pushing the axle back probably like 10, 12 inches. So this is kind of close, but I think it'll work. But it won't be an issue then once it's all adjusted. Same with the shock. enjoyed the video it helped you out you learned something please give it a like and subscribe give us a follow on instagram facebook and stay tuned for more please reach out if you have any questions remember i have the whole parts list of the training swap on each of these videos so um if there's something you notice i didn't include let me know i'm pretty sure everything's there so you should be able to just uh google the part number and find it really easily. So, all right, that's it. Thanks guys.